Now you will see how to connect BitGet to TradingView step by step. First, you probably want to get some background about TradingView and BitGet because you are trusting them with your money. BitGet is one of the top crypto platforms in the universe. As you can see here, it's currently ranked number four in the world. They have a user-friendly interface, which is good even for beginners. And they provide lots of helpful features for traders. Spot trading, futures trading, many automated trading bots copy trading, demo trading, and even a crypto card that allows you to spend crypto in real life. As you can see here, my subscribers can get nice welcome rewards on BitGet by following three steps. I will leave you the first link in the description for BitGet so you can get started. TradingView on the other hand is a leading charting platform for traders and investors worldwide. They have tens of millions of monthly active users and as you can see here they provide many built-in indicators, strategies and metrics that you can use for your trading and they provide integrations with top crypto exchanges including OKX, BingX, Bit. Get by bit Binance, you can see right here. I will also leave you a link in the description for trading view so you can get started for free. And after clicking the link below my video, you are ready to unlock your trading view. Welcome rewards. They have free and paid memberships available. You are able to connect Trading View with BitGet by clicking here and then here connect. But before I show you all the steps in detail, I want to make you aware that you can use Trading View's built-in plugin directly on BitGet even without connecting them. You can see here on BitGet chart provided by TradingView. You are able to use also the indicators and you can choose how to see the chart. You are able to draw trend lines and other things you may want to do. This is for spot trading. But if I go here in the futures, you can see the same thing. They provide the standard view and also trading view built in right here. So you are not required to connect them, but some people still want to connect because it may save your time. There may be more trading tools available. You can use alerts and many other things directly here on the trading view. Let me show you the whole process. When you are open the trading view and you are on the home page, you can click right here. Then you can click for brokers. You can click here compare brokers. You can click here crypto. And here they may showcase BitGet. At the moment you don't see it here. So you want to choose another pad. Going to products, super charts. And here you can see trading panel. If you don't see it, if it's collapsed like this, you can simply click here open panel. Click for trading panel. And here you can see BitGet. If you don't see it here and you don't see it in the brokers, don't worry, you can go to Google, you can type BitGet Trading View, and here you can see a Trading View's official website and BitGet, you can click it, and here you are able to connect. You can simply click here Trade, and it will take you back to the same page you can see right here that I showed you earlier, Trading Panel and BitGet. Now you will need to put here an API key and a passphrase and you are scratching your head where to get the API key and passphrase. I will show you the whole process. First you go to the BitGet website and you hover your mouse on the top right corner. You will see your profile icon. Then here in the drop down menu you will see this one manage API keys. You click it then it will open this view it says API keys. Then you can simply click here create API key. Then you can click here system generated API key. Here you can put a note, for example, trading view API. Here you can create a passphrase for your API token. And you obviously don't want to share your passphrase or your API key with anybody. You want to keep them private. It says here that if you lose your passphrase, you will have to create a new API. Next, you will choose here permissions and you can choose read, write or read only. If you want to trade, you probably want to choose here read, write. 
and then you can choose here permission type so do you want to connect it with futures trading spot trading margin trading copy trading wallets and also other things that you can see here let me click here for example futures trading orders and holdings and spot trading and i will leave the other ones empty and then i click here next next you need to do the security verification and then you click here confirm and it will give your api key once you have created your api key it will show it right here and you can click this copy button it says copied you paste it here on bitget api key on trading view you type your passphrase right here and then you click here connect but before connecting any third party to your crypto exchange account you want to know that it creates additional counterparty risk because trading view will be able to trade on your account so i only recommend keeping the connection open while you are actively trading and once you are done trading you disconnect it to be safe and you can also set up notifications and alerts on your BitGet account to get notified if something unusual happens. That being said, let's click here connect. And you can see it was connected successfully. Here it will show your BitGet account and you can see if you want to use the USDC futures or USDT futures account. And when you want to start trading in practice, you can click right here for symbol. And now it has pre-chosen BitGet right here. I delete the text and you can see it shows me BitGet swap, crypto swap, crypto swap, crypto, so on and so forth. I will start typing here BTC and now you will find BTC USDT perpetual contract and here we have BTC USDC since I have already a trade open for USDT trading pair I will open USDC for example purposes I have opened also the same here on the BitGet website here on the futures and here we have BTC USDC futures and I will show you the examples. If you want to focus on the charts, you can click here to collapse panel. I'm able to open the trades by clicking here, buy or sell. So buy is long, sell is short. I click here buy, then it opens the panel right here. You can see here that the leverage is at the moment 10x for this example. If I change it here on the trading view, let me put for example 7x, I click here confirm, let's go back to BitGet to see if it has been changed and you can see it was changed successfully. Now I can scroll down and if I click here buy BTC, you can see it was done, it gave even a sound effect and you can see here market order was placed, market order was executed. If I close this one and I click here to open the panel, you can see the trade that I opened. I will show you more details in the moment, but just to verify it here on the BitGet, you can see the same trade is open right here. BTC isolated long 7x. So everything is the same. You can see here everything and you can see the same details here. If I want to close the order, I can click here close, I can close it partially or I can close the whole position just to show you example of closing it fully and if we go back to the BitGet website you can see it's closed successfully. Let's collapse this panel right here and I will show you more details here on the order panel. So here you can set up how much you want to buy or sell long or short. You can set up also take profit and stop losses. You can of course adjust them however you like. You can click this or you can start typing them manually right here. If you prefer to use limit orders, you can choose that one as well. Let's make some example trade with the take profit and stop loss. I click here buy and you can see it's been set up. Here we have now the trade open. If I close this order panel, you can see the position. Here it also shows the margin mode. It will show the PNL right here. It shows the margin. And if we take a closer look at the orders, 
you can see the limit and the stop for take profit and stop loss as well and you can see it got triggered market order executed you can see here sell so the stop loss got successfully triggered that's how you can use take profit and stop loss as well so you can automate part of the trading let me collapse the panel right here and i will show you an example of how to set up alerts you can click here on the top alert and here you can set up alerts in any specific condition. For example, when the BTC would reach 108k next time, you can put the alert only once. So every time you can click here create and the alert was created. That is just one of the many helpful features on TradingView. I have created many detailed tutorials that you can see on my YouTube channel. And if you want to learn any specific feature, you can always ask me in the comments comments and I may create even more trading view tutorials for you. Now that I'm done with trading on Bitget and trading view, I will log out. I will click here log out Bitget and you can see I'm back in the beginning. Since I created this trading view API just for the example purposes, I will delete it here on the Bitget website. I click delete. I do the security verification and then I click here confirm. Do you want to learn how to use TradingView also with other crypto exchanges so you can benefit from multiple platforms? As you saw right here, Bitget is not at the moment in the top 3. So if you want to use for example Bybit, which is ranked higher than Bitget, they have currently better liquidity, more trading products than Bitget, and you can also use their automated webhook trading bot trading and many other features. TradingView is also built in here on the Bybit platform as you saw on Bitget. Using multiple exchanges can give you multiple benefits as you can benefit from all of them at the same time. And I have created more than 150 video tutorials helping you to use Bybit step by step connecting with TradingView, using automated bots and much more. So you can simply take one of your fingers right now, click right here in the corner and you will also learn to use Bybit step by step.